What is up guys, welcome back to Turbo's Garage. Thanks for 1600 subscribers, you guys are basically awesome. But, I mean, to end it off on a bad note now, um, I just got the uh, car back from a car meet. It was awesome that day. I mean, people were burning out, having fun. You can see it right here. <laughs> From there, took the car back home, driving back, and uh, I was pulling onto my subdivision as normal, you know, slowing down to a normal rate of speed, and some woman, she was driving, I don't know what happened, and she basically clipped the side of my, my car. So, oh my God, I mean, I just freaking got this thing. Thing is borderline perfect, now I got a, a dent and paint traded all over here. It's just, it's, oh my God, I'm just done. But I mean, the gas cap is all jacked up. You can, I mean, it's, you can't even open it. And when you try to close it, it's all jacked up. But there, I got paint traded on my wheels. So my wheels are messed up. This whole bumper side, I mean, this whole fender is kind of messed up too. It's creased near that actual opening. So that's going to be hard to really pull out. And it traded paint on the bumper itself. So this whole side panel and rear bumper is going to need to get repainted. And uh, I mean, I got the insurance information all over that. But the whole story is, I mean, I'm driving normally through my subdivision. I mean, not through my subdivision, but it's through a street that leads to the subdivision. So driving normally through the street, slow down to go take a turn. Hopefully, I mean, I'm glad she didn't rear in me, but she basically veered out of my way because I slowed down and I guess she wasn't paying attention and clipped the side of my car. As you can see, like where my light is and you can see how thin, I mean, how short that is. Then it kind of widens itself up back there so she kind of probably judged it from, from from this long but she didn't know really it extended that far and plus my gas cap has a little tab on it so that probably got stuck on something ripped that thing off but oh uh, man I just freaking got this car you can see this car is really borderline immaculate i mean this thing is i paid a good a good amount of freaking money for this car because it looks amazing now i go through the side of the car it looks super cool you know ws6 convertible yeah man it looks amazing guys paint everything else then you go to this side and you look on the side. Oh man, it looks good. Boom, why is the gas cap all jacked? Oh my God, oh, the car's only worth 3,000 now. Oh my God, this messes me up. But it's all good, it's gonna get fixed. Either way it goes, it's gonna get fixed. But uh, today, we're gonna start working on the piping side of the Tahoe. As you, if, you, if you're new to the channel, the Tahoe basically is a, it's a bone, not a bone stock, far from bone stock, but it's a normal two-door Tahoe. It had a rebuilt bottom end on it. We put brand new heads, new intake, fuel system, um, a lot of stuff. Then we put twin power stroke turbos under the rear of the car. So they're rear mounted power stroke turbos. And we're gonna try to see if we can pipe everything up to the intake from there, put on the, the blow off valve and run some boost with it. I mean, the plans for the truck was like a thousand horsepower, like 20 PSI, something crazy. But uh, until that actually happens, uh, right now, we're just going to be doing the welding, do the cold side, tack weld that all up, then send it over to the welder. He's going to put a mean beat on everything, and uh, that's really going to be what we're going to be doing for today. So you got the good, welding everything up, and you got the bad. This car basically is broken. It's not broken, but it's broken in my eyes. I have OCD. I don't. If it's not perfectly right, I don't want it. <laughs> Time to sell the car. It's broke. Yeah, it's broke in my opinion. Sell as a roller. <laughs> sell it as a roller, you know. Uh, 90,000 mile engine and trans roller. I'm gonna get this car right now. 2,500. It comes with a nitrous kit. <laughs> I don't want it anymore. It yeah. Right. So let's lay some mean beads, my dude. Oh, yeah. And just an update on the nitrous kit. Uh, we installed the aftermarket uh, air fuel ratio gauge. So whenever we hit the nitrous, we are able to actually see the AFRs. We ran the 75 shot. Uh, the first time, as you can see on the previous video, it's kind of stumbling a little bit. Most likely, the thing was running very, very rich. We uh, lowered the fuel jet, and we just hit a test pass like a couple days ago. You can see it right here. Recording. Yeah, purging. Nice. Let's go. Let's get it. Look at them AFRs. Good. Oh, yeah, that's perfect time. You get up to 3,000, I'm going to dump it. Okay. Yeah, exactly. 75 shot is working. 
and basically from there it was, it's basically running mint now I mean AFRs was, was kind of hovering around 12.5 12.6 ish so it's still kind of on the leaner side so I almost need to pull a little bit more fuel out of that but that's for the 75 shot I'm really gonna start tuning it very very well for the 100 shot and that's really all I'm doing I'm not trying to go to 150 or 200 shot I'm really not trying to risk really the internals of this motor but uh, we installed the the purge valve for example watch you can hear it right now I can purge it yeah so it works pretty mint let me turn this bottle off <laughs> I have no pressure for the bottle anymore. We bleed the system. There we go. But yeah, purge valve works perfectly fine. That's why um, last time when we hit the nitrous, it everything hit perfectly. Now I still have that nitrous stumble, as you can see. Like right when I get onto the nitrous, it kind of stumbles. Then it goes full power. I don't know really what that is. I think it's like the fuel isn't getting to the <coughs> solenoids fast enough. I mean, I still have to kind of work out that king of see where I can really go around it. Still searching forums about that. If you guys have any idea about why that happens, hit me up in the comment section. But uh, other than that, we're just gonna get work on the Tahoe now. So, I got the mask, got the jeans, and I uh, got the Jordans just for uh, safekeeping. I, I don't know if I'm, I'm no, I don't know if I'm hitting my eyes with some freaking light. Look at that, your balls. Straight balls? Let's see balls. Man, I'm doing straight balls, my dude. It's a mean beat right there, man. <laughs> <laughs> straight <laughs> balls. Oh, man. Well, you learned somewhere. Holy crap, let me see that mean beat right there. See all you welders? All you welders out there? Fuck your beat. That's a real beat right there. <laughs> That's a real beat right there. Oh, shit, man. We're gonna get so much flack on this video. So it turns out uh, either we don't know how to weld or this welder is pretty shitty because the beads are just coming off so horribly and we can't tack weld it. So we're going to just go to option B, which basically is just tape everything yeah. up in the way that you need it. Then uh, send it off to the welder and he's going to like do the mean beat around everything. Damn. So I mean, this is, I mean, everybody does the little tape method. So you just mm -hmm. tape everything, mock everything up, tape it to how it really is supposed to go. Then from there, send it off to a professional welder. I mean, we didn't buy the welder, it's a rental. So I mean, we just eat the rental fee. It's not that bad. Uh, oh, well, I mean, at least progress is getting done. So that's, I mean, that's the main thing we want to get through. I mean, the Tahoe build has been like, what, two years? Oh, yeah. It's like two it's years long. Around. Yeah, it's probably longer. It's crazy. Track. I know. So, yeah, we need it's to uh, speed this shit up. Exactly. <laughs> uh, you got some speed parts, though. You got a little uh, new blow valve. Yeah, it's on the oh, yeah. Ooh, let me see. Oh. See, this bitch can focus, though. Focus. Focus. There we go. Ooh. On three performance. On three is like an in between eBay and like high end stuff. Like you have your eBay crap that just breaks. Exactly. On three, it, it's cheap but reliable. They're then you have, have like bad reviews, yeah, they have no bad reviews for it. Then you have like precision turbo stuff, which is like the highest quality everything, but it works just as good as the on three performance blow out. So people would debate that. Like I'm I spent six hundred dollars on pre precision turbo and it's the best. Like I mean, <laughs> you spent six hundred dollars on something cool, but you could have probably got the same job done for a hundred bucks. Exactly. So. You overpaid. <laughs> yeah, you overpaid basically. So, uh, from there, we're just going to finish all this crap up. Uh, Makalan and Tahoe send it to the welder. They're going to do all that type of stuff. Hopefully, this car can get fixed. It's not even broken, but I, I'm saying it's broken in my opinion. <laughs> but, uh, once that gets fixed, um, probably going to do the 100 shot test sooner or later just to see how everything runs. I'm scared of the 100 shot. I just don't even want to do it. But I'd rather do it just to see if it works. Um,. Well, what's gonna be from that? And I mean, most likely the the, the, the soonest thing that's gonna happen is the Tahoe is gonna actually get finished, and uh, we're gonna be under boost. Yeah, and I mean, transmission. yeah, and basically blow the transmission. Transmission already gave you like a couple oh, problems. Yeah, I know. It's been it's acting, to act up. Yeah, two hundred fourteen thousand miles yeah. on that transmission. Exactly. So. I mean, the, not new. the the engine is rebuilt, exactly. but not the transmission. So the <laughs> transmission, course. yeah, the transmission has like two hundred fifty thousand miles, whatever. No, it's crazy. So. uh it's like it gives you intermittent problems. It's just like it makes shift weird for like a couple seconds, and after that, it's perfectly good. So you know it's it's, it's about to go out. Exactly. So I'd rather just get the, rather just streamline it, get everything turbo, have fun with it, then the trans blows and go get a built one or something like that. So it's really the the whole main thing for that. So uh, turbo's garage, you know, horsepower stickers, you know. That's about 50 horsepower. Yeah, it's about fifty horsepower right there, you know. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It has five stickers, uh, ten horsepower piece. Ooh. See, look. See, I'm not doing that. <laughs> <laughs> exactly. Uh, Turbo's garage. If 
Pakuras. I'm done.